Hi everyone, I'm back with a Tuesday morning haul this week. Wanted to share what I picked up at my store. First, we'll get into the embellishments and I'll get into the paper. First, I picked up six of these sticky thumb solid adhesive runners from American Crafts. I am going to a crop soon and I'll share how I pack for my crop at a later video. But I like to bring these types of adhesives to my crop instead of my big pink e ETG cotton. So I usually stock up, I either buy what they have at Tuesday morning or I'll buy the Elmer's refills from Walmart. So I got six of those. Then I picked up these thickers. They are black glitter called Maggie and they have like a pink orange core, an orange core. So I thought these would be perfect for Halloween pages. I picked up these Heidi Swap embellishments. They came in black and silver and with the green. I adored the green. So um, they're a little pricey. I thought maybe 99 cents would probably be better because they, they are very small. I mean, this is my hand. So you can see they're pretty small. Um, but they were cute and so I got them. We buy things we know we don't need, but you know, you know how it is. Then I picked up two of these Paige Evans embellishment, embellishments. These are the suede bows for $1.49. I picked up these Dear Lizzie embellishments. They were like vinyl bows. I absolutely love them. They are beautiful. I picked up these We Are Memory Keepers. These are leather bows. I like those too. Um, I picked up this I Am gold clear sticker sheet from Simple Stories. Um, I picked this up because I have the paper and I don't have any embellishments. I picked these up. These are big tickets. I mean, they're huge. If you can see, these are my hand. Um, they're made by Paper Love. And I, I got these for like carnival pages. I thought they were super cute. I picked up these little circle, little type alphas. Um, again, working on boy pages right now. Although I'm working on baby photos, the toddler years come up next. And I thought these would be really cute for some of those types of pages since that's the colors I'll be scrapping with. I picked up this. This is nothing new. You've probably seen it. Um, it's by Heidi Swap. I have a few of these and I just kind of pick one up here and there all the time just because I love those wooden veneers. Then I picked up this from Project Life. I thought this was a really good deal. I do not do Project Life, but this is all zoo themed and I just thought it was darling. It was so cute. So I grabbed that. I grabbed these paper clips by American Crafts. Um, I do not do planners, but I thought these might be cute to add some tops to photos just to kind of add a little something on top. I got these from Wild Child from Pink Paisley. This is the girl themed one. And I'll go ahead and show you what's on the back. Um, every now and then I do pick up some girl stuff. I do have a, a niece, but I also have not yet scrapbooked my own photos from when I was a kid, so. Um, here and there I'll pick stuff up. One of the collections that I picked up months ago was the Glitter Girl collection from Schmel. I think that was Schmel, yeah. Um, I picked up the whole entire collection because it so reminded me of the 80s and I'm an 80s baby, so definitely got those. Um, these were Gold Hearts by Maggie Holmes. I thought the packaging was weird. I don't know if these are just like off packaged or what collection they go with, it just doesn't say. But I got two packs because I thought they were so cute. And they're, they're fairly dimensional, but not overly. You could definitely get these on the scrapbook page. Um, I picked these up. I have passed these up numerous times because I just thought they were so big and ridiculous that I was like, are these for journaling? Are these for planners? Are these for scrapbooking? I didn't know. But I saw a layout with these recently and I thought it was super cute. So it kind of inspired me to get them. 
Um, then I picked this up. Again, another Project Life pack, and for $1.99, I just thought it would be good titles, good journaling spots for pictures coming up for my kids' toddler years because, you know, there's so many stories to tell when you're going through those photos. I picked the simple stories up. And again, um, this, just so that you know, I have... A Tuesday morning that I go to while I'm at work and then I have a Tuesday morning that I go to that's closer to my house and the one closer to my house has older products they just opened so that's why you're seeing some of the older dates on these here's whimsical stickers and here's what's in it and then I got these little badges from Chamel I love these I got two of them they're a little smaller than what you would see for normal flare. Um, I'd say that they're about the size of a penny. So I got two of those. And then I picked these up. These are from Chanel. These are clear acrylic shapes. I love these. I only got one pack of these. I kind of wish I would have gotten two, but that's okay. And then I picked up this washi tape from Amy Tangerine. Love that. It's butterfly and stamp die. Thickers. Love that. I like how delicate it is. I love getting these types of things because they kind of add, obviously, size to your page, but also a title, so I like doing that. Washi strips from Jennifer Hadfield. <clears throat> Thickers. And then these have a little font in them. And then the Simple Stories chipboard. The Boat Bunny Noteworthy. And this is like a autumn collection. I like getting some of this stuff. It's just real kind of woodsy. We do hiking and obviously the traditional autumn things, but sometimes it's fun to kind of get different things. And then I found this Jennifer Hadfield. This is Along the Way ephemera pack. And here's what's in it. And then I got this washi tape from Bull Bunny. I absolutely love these mason jars. I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you in the paper here coming up. I was kind of bummed they didn't have the die cuts for this. I don't know why it's not focusing. There you go. And now for the paper. Um, I got Along the Way 6x8 pad from Jennifer Hadfield. This is gold. didn't really need to get this but I thought it might be good to kind of layer with and not have to crack into a 12 by 12 sheet. I got Bow Bunny Garden Party. I got the 12 by 12 of this so I'll go ahead and show you that when we get to it. I got the 6 by 6 Bow Bunny Butterfly Kisses collection. I'll show you this. This is beautiful. I love those flowers, just pretty. Love the purple and the teal in here. And more mason jars. My son's name is Mason. And I love mason jars. They always make me think of him. Then I picked up this Echo Park collection. I bought the die cuts not too long ago. 
So I thought I'd just go ahead and pick up this collection. They do sell this at Hobby Lobby, so you could get it for, I think, a dollar cheaper if you waited for the 50% off. But I just decided to grab it. I don't go to Hobby Lobby a ton just because I've been kind of just disappointed in like what they're carrying. They're not, they're really downsizing their craft section and I don't feel like they're really bringing in the, like the name brand things that they used to have for scrapbooking. So they really went planner heavy and I'm just not a big planner person. So, um, anyways, I digress. I just don't go get in there very often. I usually spend my time at Tuesday morning. So, and then here is the 12 by 12 of the bull bunny. And I love this. What I have in mind for this is <coughs> my sister is getting married. So I'm, I've got wedding photos on the mind and also gardening. Last year, my kids and I completely redid the landscaping in my front yard. Isn't that gorgeous? And um, I just thought, and then we planted the garden. Love this. Just reminds me of like fireflies and those little bulb lights that you hang up outside. It's just beautiful. Like, um, on. So, um, yeah, I just love this when I saw it. I just, I had to have it. I don't buy a lot of bull bunny because it tends to be really vintage and distressed. And every time I buy it, I regret it, but I don't think I'll regret those. I absolutely love that. And here is the Echo Park Celebrate Spring Collection. Uh, just really cutesy. Again, my kids' pictures. I'm working on their younger years. They're, I mean, they're young still. They're six and eight, but I mean, perfect for like Easter egg hunts and things like that. This is Jennifer Hadfield along the way. Um, I just love this. I'll flip through this too. I know I just flipped through this six by eight, but I figure um, you're not gonna be able to see like the cut of parts very well. There you go. Love those girls. I like how she tends to put like a bunch of embellishments in her pads. You can just do a bunch of cutouts and have essentially a, an easy way of making a page. And then I did buy those few other embellishments too, so I feel like I have a lot to go with this collection. And then I bought this close knit collection by Crate Paper. This is something that has been in my store a long time. This is nothing new. This is again a little bit more vintage than what I like. So I don't know. It's like one of the things that I've been just kind of like, should I buy it? Should I not buy it? Should I buy it? Should I not buy it? And so I just bought it. I figure I have some embellishments to go with it. I'll get enough use out of it that it, it's definitely worth it. It's just not one of my favorite lines. The colors, I, I think it's the pinks and the peaches that's just kind of throwing me off. And again, it's kind of vintage. If you see like those ladies. But I also like having a lot of different things because if you have all the same feel of paper, I mean, when you're scrapbooking your kids, it makes sense. If I have all Amy Tangerine and Dear Lizzie and Chamel, etc. But if I'm scrapbooking something with my grandparents or their grandparents or something more antique or vintage, it doesn't make sense to put it on even tangerine paper because the mood and feel is completely off. So I always like to have a little bit of this stuff on hand. Then I got the City Maps collection. Um, this I have been eyeing up and I'm going to DC in October. And although these are not maps of DC, the other side of these maps have like, uh, you know, designer paper or whatever, pattern paper. So what I plan on doing is kind of just having it be, you know, sometimes I'll use a map, sometimes I'll, you know, just use parts of a map, but be able to use the other side. So it's kind of like the best of both, because when I think of DC, I think of maps. I don't know why. But, I don't know. It was kind of, again, something different. I have, I don't own anything like it and wanted to have that. 
And then this here is Bow Bunny Cottontail Collection. In my last Tuesday morning haul, I hauled some embellishments that go with this, like the die cuts and the chipboard stickers. So, again, I just thought it was really pretty. Definitely more vintage Easter than, um, you know, the cutesy kind of thing. But, you know, now when I go to church, my Easter is very different when I don't have the kids with me for the holiday than when I have them with me for the holiday. So I kind of like the idea of being able to document Easter, how it's different for me and what I do with the kids or without the kids. And this is more for when I'm with, you know, older people, uh, not kids, but more maybe dinner, maybe just church, maybe, um, you know, just doing something on my own or with my boyfriend, and, you know, um, for a brunch. So definitely wanted that for that purpose. Then I got Heidi Swap Emerson Lane. Almost done, guys. I don't know why it's not focused. There we go. And this I thought was really cute. I thought for spring, summer, again, um, I don't have a lot of Heidi Swap paper, so this is awesome. I was really happy about this. And it's got a lot of like mustard yellow, pinks, greens. And her paper is always fun to have. So. And then I got this old goodie. Um, it's like that glassine material. It was a little bit expensive. It was $4.99, but there's 24 sheets. This has been around quite a bit. Um, and I want I bought it just for layering. I wanted to use material just to add some different texture to some pages like birthday pages or boy pages and then the last thing I got was this 25 pack of paper this paper says it's from Jen Hadfield along the way but I found it weird that this paper is not in any of the paper pads I just showed you from Jen Hadfield along the way so I just bought this because I wanted to have like the full collection so these are cute peaches Oops. And then a pink and yellow stripe. So, really cute. Okay, so that is my haul for this week. Tons of paper. I totally did not need all that paper, but really happy with the finds I got. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to be able to do a video soon with how I'm packing for my crop in two weeks. Um, so take care. Hope you all have a great weekend. And I know I'm watching the tournament this weekend. I'm a Marquette grad, so I'm rooting for the Marquette Golden Eagles. So hope they win tonight. Talk to you later. Bye.